So now let's see how we can add guides and snap to guides inside of GIMP. So to do that, I'm going to go around and create a new file right here. And let's say, for example, for reference, I need to go around and add in guides. So I'm going to go around on to, let's say, for example, create a new layer right here. And let's just go around and change the width and height to, let's say, for example, um, uh, uh, 200 by 200 right here, just like this. So let's just go around, say 200 by 200 of layer right here, just like this. So this is my particular layer. I can go ahead and move this out wherever I want, but everything is freely being moved as you can see. So what I can do to add in reference is add in guides. So to do that, I need to go around over here onto the image menu right here and then go to guides right here. And here you can see that I can go around and add in guides by percentages. Let's say, for example, if I want to go around and add it, add in guides in 50% of the horizontal stays right here, then I can press OK. Then this is the guide, as you can see right here. And this is what I can take as a reference, as you can see right here. And I can let it snap to the guide as well. So if I were to go around onto view right here, snap to guide is turned on right now, and that is why it snaps. But if I were to turn it on, then it does not snap anymore right here. But it's recommended around over here to enable it so that it snaps onto place and alignment becomes much more easier. So similarly, what I can also do is I can go around over here onto um, onto uh, um, 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 image right here and add in more guides right here. So new guide by percentage and let's just go around onto vertical right now. And over here you can see that I got vertical guides right here, just like this. Apart from that, you can go around onto guides right here. And then let's say, for example, go for new guide. Then you can also go around and change it out as per pixels right here. So let's just go around onto horizontal 200 pixels right here. And then you can see that after 200 pixels, there's this particular guide around over here. So I can also go around over here and then go around onto, uh, let's say, for example, a new guide from selection. So if I were to go around and have a selection on this particular area right here, so this is my selection, as you can see right here, I can go around over here onto MS onto guide right here and new guide from selection and it takes this particular section right here and then adds in guides right here. So now what I can do is I can simply go around and utilize those reference right here. Let's just go around and duplicate out the layer right here and then I'm going to uh, utilize this guide right here just like this to place the object out. Then I can go around and duplicate this out as well. So let's just go around and then duplicate out the layer right here and then place this out right here, duplicate out the layer right here. And you can see that I can take this particular reference to actually go around and keep everything aligned right here. So let me just go around and duplicate this out and keep this around over here just like this and so forth. So if I were to go around over here onto guides, I can go around and remove or let's say for example, uh, hide the guide. So I can go around onto view and hide the guides for a moment as you can see right here so that um, it is not there it's just hidden i can go around over here and show the guides right here over here as well i can also go around over here onto image onto guides right here and then i can remove all guides altogether as well so that it's not there anymore as well and that is how you can add guides and then remove them and snap to guides and align everything according to the guides inside of gimp so I hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe